a two ounce jig with a six inch gulp and a fly for a shrimp fly. So Tyler finds the fish on the fish finder. We set up our drift because the boat's going to be moving. And we get all the people um, on the lines out. And hopefully, if the drift goes really well, nobody gets all tangled up. Uh, he can see how far down the fish are 45 seconds, 15 seconds, where they are in the water column. And um, we'll drop the jigs. They go down, hit the bottom, and you do a slow retrieve. Somewhere in that water column, those fish are kind of staged and they're uh, feeding or hanging out doing fish stuff and they see that jig swim by or that uh, the, the gulp worm or whatever we're using the cocoho and a uh, swim bait and they see it go by and they're predatory fish and they hit it. How'd we do today? We're doing pretty good. How do we do on link cod? We got all our link cod. We got one for you. Sweet. How many uh, rockfish do we need? We just need five more. All right. You heard it from the man. Keith, beautiful day out here. 
Um, fishing was pretty good. We ended it on wing really quick, and now we're out for uh, rockfish. Then we're gonna go pick up our crab pots and then head her on in. Don't do that barehanded. I'm with Chad, my sea daddy. <laughs> How do we do today, Chad? We're doing all right. Yeah. I need five more rockfish. Um, I got a really good question. Some guys bring braid. We use mono. Why don't braid and mono get along? Braid will always tie knots around mono.